but she kind of had a big splash at the beginning for for uh, wild carded onto the tour from her freestyle background massive backflip in the first event uh, which we kind of all expected but then the free ride elements of her skiing really shining through in the rest of that first run and in the, her second run in andorra where she took the win so sitting second overall justine dufour lapoint on course here at kicking horse That's a beautiful pronunciation you've got there, and I will be definitely trying to leave that to you as that is not my strong suit with the uh, Francais. She's working her way out to the lookers right. We've seen very few riders go here. So it's going to be interesting to see which line choice she makes. Again, on this kind of Sugar City Traverse, the riders aren't really being judged until they get over and start their drop-in line uh, properly. So she works her way over. Another little pole clack there, you know, just keeping the spirits high. Yeah, Justine, definitely a great spirit. She's been loving her transition into freeride. Just loving the spirit, the community, an extremely exposed traverse here as she gets over the top of it. She's got the skills and the talent coming from the World Cup mogul background, knows how to turn a ski, getting things kicked off on this air. A mm. little bit punchy there. Looks like definitely the snow conditions over on this side a little less consistent. Yeah, but you could see, I mean, Landing in hard icy moguls, she put that one down absolutely bolts, getting that next one going a little back there, but just holding on nicely and controlling that speed. Beautiful cutback turn there, throwing the spray up, working her way down his own. We've yet to see really much traffic on, but this is an air below that we love to see. We've seen great success here from riders in the past. Yeah, extremely technical approach. Justine pointing it, clearing the rocks, bit of a back slap there, ha! but she's out, arms up. As that, uh, that section of the mountain, definitely a little firmer than we see on the other side. But Justine coming out of it clean. D judge is definitely going to notice the back slap. But all in all, technically solid run for Justine dufour Lapoint. I think really smart skiing as well. She's managed to find three good ears, some great turns, some cinematic skiing. She looks stoked. She should be. Great to see knee pad uh, designs coming back into outer wear, you know. It's great to track what these knees are doing. She's a happy chappy. Yeah, the peak performance rider there just waving to the crowd. Oh, so big. <laughs> She's coming for more metal, you know. She's hungry for that, isn't she? Once more, once more, who doesn't? You just heard her say that was so big. As the riders, you know, they're scoping this visually, and there's always that moment where you get into the air where you're like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> what decisions in my life led me here? Look at that angle, that's great. Getting a bit of a wheelie on the skis, but fights back into the front seat. Mogul Ski is obviously always in the front of their boots. She's fought there, she comes back, big air out the bottom. Yeah. Hand down, back slap there, but look at that, the joy exploding out of her. You love to see that expression. Oh, yeah, and you could see that one, the lip on the takeoff just had a little bit of kick, so just in getting pushed. Him. Pushed good. slightly Woo! back. She's all good. Thanks, her mom Bella. nervously Thanks, watching at home. Her, her, I think her mom's been a little bit less behind the transition to free ride as uh, unfamiliar to a lot of people in Quebec. But Justine really bringing free ride into the Quebec ski community. So that's exciting for them. So she's going to be first right now with a 75-3-3. A solid score there. The judges loving that line.